Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Whiskify TV. I'm your host Jez and we are a day late on the Whiskey Wednesday uh, filming. So I decided to do it what are we, Thursday morning. Um, and for today's episode, I have a beautiful bottle of... You guys won't actually be able to see what it is, but you, you will because I'll bring it in close. Um, we actually got some uh, labels done for it. Um, I got them from OP Correctly on Instagram. Um, but it is, to cut a long story short, it is the Weller Special Reserve uh, coming from the beautiful Buffalo Trace Distillery. Now, uh, one thing that disappoints me about this bottle is it's screw capped. So that is no fun. I haven't tried any yet. Um, I mistakenly opened the bottle the other night and was like, okay, this is, you know, something I'm going to have to let breathe, so on and so forth. So it is a wheated bourbon. I don't know the age statement. It was coming in at seven years, but they've obviously pulled that back and they are not disclosing this to us. Um, uh, what can I tell you about it? It was born in Kentucky in 1825 sorry the the <laughs> wl weller was born in kentucky uh 1825 um but the actual weller brand originally came from the stitzer weller distillery uh but then it was picked up by buffalo trace or the sazerac um company i believe it's called these days whoever owns those guys, um, and yeah, this bloke just wanted to put out an honest whiskey at an honest price. And in the US, the Weller brand at the moment is absolutely ridiculous when it comes to dollars spent. I saw a bottle of, uh, what, uh, where are we? Uh, the 12 year old Weller, which I've also rebranded as well with this beautiful label. Um, I saw that going for. 400 US dollars, um, and we're picking them up for like 220 Australian dollars. So it is absolutely mental that people pay it for this Weller gear over in the US. Um, but you know, lucky for us, like we can't really get them because this is the first time I've actually seen this uh, special reserve. But yeah, like it's. It's not something that you commonly find in Australia. Um, I actually, I thought there was a proof on the back. I can't exactly tell you. Um, I'm looking at, the South Trade have got their little logo, uh, their little sticker on the back, little import sticker. And it tells me it's, uh, what do we got? 25.6 standard drinks. I don't know the... I reckon it'd be about 45%, say. Roughly guessing. Um, but yeah, if I'm, if I'm wrong, please tell me. Um, I've got some sitting in my Dan Friend Lily bourbon glass here, so I'm going to get my head in there, give it a bit of a sniffy sniff, and give you guys some tasting notes. So, Alright, so it's a weeded bourbon... I did end up looking at the mash bill, um, but it is their typically standard famous mash bill. Um, it's sweet on the nose. So I'm going for a bit of a taste. So it's mainly um, front palate work there. A little bit stays around the front of the tongue. A little bit of sweetness there. I mean, try again. Here we go. Okay, so a little bit of oakiness there as well. Um, not, not harsh. 
um, but you can definitely taste the oak. The typical caramel you'll find there as well. A little bit butterscotchy. But all in all, like it, it's a great drop. Like in Australia, you're paying $82 a bottle. So it definitely kicks over, obviously, the $80 mark for like decent bourbons. So it'll put you in the $100 range. But even so, I think it's great for what it is. Um, a little bit of Kentucky hug as it goes down as well. So super delicious stuff. Um, yeah, I reckon, like, I reckon if you can get your hands on some, definitely treat yourself, pick yourself up a bottle. Um, and I'd love to hear what you guys think about what it is in the comments. If you guys have tried some or if you're looking at trying some, you know, it, it's super delicious. Um, I believe everyone's still got some. I don't believe it's flying off the shelves that quickly. So in Australia, you can definitely get your hands on some for $82 plus shipping. So... Anyway, guys, thank you for watching my late Whiskey Wednesday video. I hope hope you guys enjoyed it because I enjoyed filming it. Um, I'm going to wrap it up here anyway. So thank you, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Give it a like if you really liked it or let me know. But that's it. That's me done. So stay thirsty, Australia.